to like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I'll show you how to use chamfer command in AutoCAD. So here I'll chamfer very simple objects. So let's start. So this is a simple rectangle. So chamfer is used to incline edges or corners with some distance and angle. So I will show different methods of chamfer for different situations. So this is a rectangle. Now give chamfer command. So shortcut key of chamfer command is CHA. You can select CHA or you can select the chamfer command from modify panel. So here this is the modify panel and here this is the chamfer command. So you can select from here also or you can select from toolbar also. So here this is the chamfer command on toolbar. But here I am using shortcut key that is CHA. Now press enter. Now see we have some options here. Now first I will select distance. So for distance specify D. Enter. So here we need to specify first chamfer distance. So what is first chamfer distance and what is second chamfer distance? So first chamfer distance means if I want to chamfer any edge. Suppose I want to chamfer this edge. So there are two lines. This line and this line. Suppose I will select this line as first line and this as second line. So in first line the distance or length which I want to incline is the first chamfer distance. So here I am giving the first chamfer distance as 2 feet. So specify 2 feet. Press enter. Now specify second chamfer distance. Same 2 feet. Press enter. Now click on first line. Select first line. And click on second line. Now see chamfer is done. So you can see chamfer has been done with a length from this corner to this length as 2 feet. And this corner, this corner to this length also 2 feet. So for checking distance just draw a line here. Draw a line here and draw another line here. Go to dimension panel. Select linear. Click here and click here. This is 2 feet. Okay. Again linear. Click here and click here. This is 2 feet. So we can see select like this. So this is the distance method. So now I will jump for another edges. So suppose I will jump for this corner. So same procedure. Give jump for command CHA. Press enter. Now for distance specify D enter. Now first jump for distance. 2 feet, specify 2 feet, enter. Now second jump for distance, here I am taking 3 feet. 3 feet, enter. Now click on first line, select the first line and select the second line. Now see, jump for is done. Now if you want to check the distance, then draw a line here and again draw a line here. Now go to dimension, linear, click here and click here. This is 3 feet and again select linear and this is 2 feet. Okay. So like this you can jump for with distance. So next move to another method that is jump for with angle. So for that give jump for command CHA.
press enter now i'll select angle for angle specify a just type a press enter now specify first chamfer length to fit i'll chamfer this as this is the first line and this is the second line specify the uh, this is to fit first length to fit enter now specify the chamfer angle from the first line suppose here i am giving the angle as 60 degree so specify the angle 60 press enter now select the first line click on first line and click on second line now see chamfer is done now for check So a line here. Now go to dimension. Select angular. Click here and click here. This is 60 degree. Okay. Now draw another line here. Now go to linear. Click here and click here. This is 2 feet. So. This is 60 degree. Okay. So, this corner to this point is 2 feet and this is 60 degree angle. Okay. Now, I will jump for another edge. So, give jump for command CHA. This edge, I will jump for this. So, CHA. Press enter. Now, angle a enter now specify first jump for length uh, 3 feet enter angle specify the angle suppose 30 degree 30 press enter now click here first line and click on second line now see jump for is done now for checking draw line here again draw another line here now dimension linear this is 3 feet and angle is for angular this is see this is 30 degree so like this you can jump for with angle and distance okay so next move to another method so draw a rectangle so this is jump for with trim so for that Give jump for command CHA. Press enter. Now, I'll, I'll select trim method. For trim method, specify T. Enter. Now, there are two options here. Trim and no trim method. Now, it's on trim mode. So, specify for no trim. Specify N. Press enter. Now for distance specify D. Enter. Now specify the first jump for distance. Suppose 2 feet. Enter. Now second jump for distance. Uh, 3 feet. Enter. Now click on first line. And click on second line. Now see. Chamfer is done, but these two lines are not trimmed because it's in no trim mode. Okay, so this is means these two lines are not trimmed due to trim mode is no trim mode is on, but chamfer is done. Okay, so now I'll uh, use uh, trim with angle so T enter now uh, for no trim and enter. enter now for angle specify a enter now specify the jumper length uh, suppose uh, 4 feet enter 
and specify the angle 45 degree enter now select the click on first line and click on second line now see jumper is done with 45 degree angle and 4 foot length so this is linear this is 4 feet and angular this is 45 degree okay so in this way you can chamfer with no trim method in angle method okay so this is the trim method so next move to another method CHA enter, T enter, no trim. Now I'll trim, T enter. Now uh, for distance, D enter. Sorry, for angle, A enter. Now specify the length. Suppose 2 feet and angle. Suppose 30 degree enter. Now select the first line and click on second now see here chamfer is done and edges also trimmed because now trim mode is on okay so this is the trim method so next draw line this is polyline method so chamfer cha enter now for polyline now i'll select polyline so first distance d enter now specify first jumper distance uh, suppose uh, 2 feet enter now second jumper distance same 2 feet enter now for polyline specify P enter now select the object means click on object now see jumper is done with a single click but you can use polyline command if your drawing is in polyline okay your drawing should be a single entity you cannot use polyline method in this situation because this this is created with lines for polyline method your object should be a single entity okay so these are separate lines here you cannot use polyline method okay so next these are separate lines polyline for polyline your object should be in single entity so this is a rectangle now again cha enter now for uh, again i will use polyline method so give chamfer command cha enter now distance now specify first distance uh, suppose uh, 3 feet enter now second distance uh, 3 feet now polyline p enter now click on object now see polyline method this is chamfer is done in a single click in polyline method this because this is in polyline this drawing is in polyline okay this is a single entity so next move to another method <coughs> jumper so here for distance d enter now specify first distance 3 feet now second distance same uh, 3 feet now i will select multiple so for multiple specify m enter now click on first line and click on second line see jumper is done now in this case if we want to jump for more than one edge with same distance then in this case we need to select multiple no need to give command again we can jump for multiple edges see we can jump for this edge with same distance 
again this edge again jump for this edge we can also jump for this edge so in this case in multiple no need to give the command again and again you can select any edge with multiple command with same distance okay here no need to give the command again so in multiple this is the multiple method you can multi you can jump for n multiple up edges in multiple method okay so see jump for is done so this is the multiple method so now i'll jump for with multiple with no trim method okay so undo this so this is a rectangle now give jump for command cha press enter now for trim, t enter now for no trim n enter specify n enter now for distance d enter now specify the first jump for distance 3 feet and specify the second jump for distance 3 feet now for multiple specify m enter now click here and click here see jump for is done but edges are not trimmed due to no trim mode is on click here and click here here jump for uh, lines are goes to outer direction so we need to select the first line we need to change the this is the first line click here and click here see this is done jump for is done with no no trim mode okay so click here so this is the jump for with multiple in no trim method so these are the different methods of chamfer. So all methods are used for different situations. So like this, you can chamfer any object and all methods are used for different situations. Okay. So hope you like this video. Now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Also share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.